How's it going everyone? Different setting for today's video. I'm going to be filming this inside, one, because it's very hot outside, and two, I don't need to be outside. But today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be stripping these seats down to try to get rid of the airbag light that's in my 2003 Saab 9.3. You guys might remember a couple months ago, I put an anniversary interior into this car. And because the anniversary interior is off of the 2007 model, and this being a 2003, some of the electronics are different. There's just certain things that are different about it. And basically, I have an airbag light on every time I start and drive the car. Now, I scanned it with the Tech 2. There were about six airbag-related uh, codes that came up. I'll put them on the screen right now. But basically, they all look like they're related to the passenger seat. So yesterday I pulled the passenger seat out. After pulling the passenger seat out, I swapped the rails uh, from the anniversary seat over to the old seat because basically what we're going to be doing is completely skinning each seat and swapping the foam and cushions between the two. So basically the anniversary foam and cushions will be on like the frame of the old seat and that should hopefully solve the issue because it'll be using all the old electronics and everything while still, you know, of course, having the anniversary foam and cushion and leather. I wanna give a huge shout out to a couple people for helping me with this. I'm going to be actually video chatting my buddy Chad, who is over in Maine. If you guys remember my SOC 2018 video, he had a beautiful Dolphin Gray 9.3 there that he had done a ton of work to. He's got a lot of 9.3s, really great. He's extremely intelligent with these cars, so he's gonna be helping me out. Uh, while I strip this down kind of showing me how to do it. But with that being said, let's head inside. To start things off, we went ahead and popped these buttons off. Um, you just need a pry tool kind of get on either side of them like I did there and they'll just fly off everywhere. Now on the 2003 seat, uh, you have a little T25 Torx that's on the back side behind a little plastic cover there. So we went ahead and took that off next. And then coming to the front, there's a little metal clip that you can see in there by that arrow that we just stuck a flathead in, popped off, and you could kind of pull that front part of the cover off and unhook that. Next, I came around to the back and there's a little lip on the where my left hand is there that you can just kind of lift up and pull off and there's two little clips in the middle section of that uh, cover that you'll have to pull off as well. After that, I went ahead and disconnected the connector for the seat controls. Then we went ahead and popped off the lumbar support if you don't have this, of course, you don't need to worry about that. So first the wheel, and then next this little, I guess, black plastic ring that goes around it. Uh, you might you, you might think you're going to break it. As you can see, that one went flying, but it's not too bad. Next, just pulled out the headrest. Pretty simple. After that, we pulled out the thing that the headrest goes into, which there's a little tab that if you stick the screwdriver in there facing forward, you can kind of pull it back in, and then the plastic uh, holder will slide out. Next, there's a little zip tie back there on the bottom of the seat that's holding that leather down, so we cut that. Then if you stick your fingers in there on the sides, those will start to pull out pretty easily. Following that, you can just kind of pull that middle section down and out, and there'll be that little, it almost looks like a paper thing that's uh, kind of hooked around one of the bars in there that you just have to kind of unhook quickly. Pretty easy to remove that section. Uh, that's just the connector for the seat heater if you have one of those. Next there's like this little clip that goes across this entire bar here that you kind of just have to unhook. Uh, these were pretty common for this entire process and were a pain to figure out how to get off, but once you kind of find a way to do it, it's, uh, it becomes a lot easier. So next we're kind of ready to start pulling off this top half of the cushion, so I'm just kind of disconnecting the foam and the leather from the frame, just kind of like getting it off the lumbar support there and making sure that we can kind of start to uh, to pull it up. And as you can see, with a bit of work, it's a little bit of a pain. Uh, it starts to come off, but it wasn't too bad. There's just a lot of little things that it can get stuck on, but besides that, it, it kind of started to slide off pretty easily. So after that, we can go ahead and come to the bottom cushion now, and there's five of those same clips that you can see right there. There's one on the back end, there's one on the corner right here that I'm working on. There's also a big one in the front, that one's gonna be the hardest one to get. And then there's one on the opposite corner and one on the opposite back side as well. So those were not very fun to get off. Next, if you come to the back on the underside, there's four little pins. You just kinda gotta pull that forward and it'll slide over the end of the pins and those will come off. Not as difficult as it looked to be initially. And then you're kind of ready to start getting this bottom cushion off. 
and we're almost there. There's one more connector for the passenger seat sensor, and then there you have it, disconnected. I want to give a quick update on what's going on here. So we have both the seats completely stripped. This is the 03 frame. This is the anniversary seat frame. And one thing I just had to do, uh, which Chad told me, is there's a sensor for the passenger seat you know, like when the passenger seat's not buckled, the light comes on, it's very annoying. That sensor I had to pull out of here, so I had to break a couple little like tin snips and whatnot, but got those pulled out, and then I slid it into the anniversary seat. So you can see the sensor right there, and then there's something that goes way down in there under the cushion. But now we're ready to start putting everything back on. So, time to put the anniversary seats, cushions, on the 03 frame. In addition to those five clips that are spaced out, there's one on this side at the back, one on the corner, a big one at the front, one on this corner, and one back here. There's also these four things that you have to, it, you think it's not gonna go on, but if you just push hard enough, it'll eventually just kind of slide on and over. So now the uh, bottom cushion is back on both of them. The anniversary seat did not have lumbar support on it for whatever reason, but this frame ra or this frame does. So there's a pre-cut hole in the foam, not a pre-cut hole, but an indentation. So we're cutting out that now, and then we're gonna have to cut a hole cutting it out, we're in the leather. Out. You're, we're ripping it out, I guess. Thanks, Saab, for changing your seats over a four-year period. There you go, that's it. Okay, now time to cut in the leather. <laughs> Don't ruin it, it just going? stab it, just stab it. Come on. So we ended up using scissors instead of the X-Acto knife. And we kind of put it on here and then traced the hole right where it needs to go. And now we're cutting out that hole. So the leather's out. Now there's like a little layer under the leather and then we should be good. Cushion is on and we have lumbar support now for whoever's sitting passenger. Me. Next step is hooking this thing, it comes down around. You're gonna drop it out the bottom like that. And it's gonna hook down around, or on top of that up there. While she's struggling with that, <laughs> I will show you what it looks like on the other seat. Just hooks around right here. If you have seat heaters, I believe that's the seat heater connector right there. You'll wanna plug that in, but since only one of them had a seat heater, we don't have anything to plug that into. Now we're putting that piece in. Just kind of slide it in. Yeah, tuck it around. Yeah, tuck it around those outside pieces there. There's the same kind of clip tab thing, whatever you want to call it, that went on the bottom seat cushion that this leather around the outside here is going to hook around. There's two parts to the lumbar support. There's this part that goes into the side right here. And there's, of course, the knob, so first we need to put in this part. There's just two little tabs you have to stick in there and kind of twist it until it snaps into place. Okay, now we gotta put the knob on. Should just, like, press in. Next step is putting this on. There's the part in the front you're gonna want to do first. Just a clip here, clip here, and there's, like, a little lip on the top. Lastly, we just have the buttons. Later that same evening. Seat is in. It's gone! No, what? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I'm gonna try clearing these codes with a Tech 2. You see the passenger seat, there's four codes for the passenger seat. There's 18 codes overall, which is what I think it had before. So I'm gonna try clearing them. <laughs> it's gonna come back, I already know it. Okay, well it's still there. Tomorrow. So, next morning, uh, we do have a new car sitting right out there that we got, so if you haven't seen that video, it'll probably already be uploaded by now, by the time you're seeing this, so make sure to check that out in the top corner. But, uh, as you saw when I was pulling codes on the Tech 2 last night, I was still getting some seat-related codes. Most of them were related to the seat heater, which if you remember, uh, this one just doesn't have a seat heater. So that plug is empty, so that's fine. I'm more concerned about getting that airbag light off. 
So I messaged Chad, showed him the codes that I had, and he is, I swear this, he, he, he's a wizard when it comes to this stuff. There was one thing wrong with each seat. With this one, I just took it out to try and fix it. I didn't film it because I just wanted to see if it worked before I uh, filmed anything. But there's a small connector that plugs into the frame rail over here, or the seat rail over here. I, that was disconnected on the driver's seat. That got rid of that code. And then on this side, there was the uh, plug was disconnected for the passenger seat sensor, that thing that I took out of the 03 cushion and had to put into here. That was never plugged back in. So that got rid of that code. And now, when I start the car, no airbag light. I didn't have to clear it with the Tech 2. It just went away on its own. So that's very good news, of course. So I'm super excited. Finally have the proper seats in this car. I tried to show that process the best I could, but we were kind of like video chatting Chad. He was showing us, he was doing a great job showing us, and then I was trying to film it at the same time while doing it on both the seats. So hopefully it turned out all right. Um, it's a little bit of a tedious process for sure. There's a couple steps that take a little bit of time. But besides that, it wasn't too bad. So again, huge shout out to Chad for all the help. Wouldn't have been able to do this at all without his help. Also, thank you to Sarah for helping me do one of the seats so it took about half the time but with that being said that's it for today guys i'm gonna leave this video on a little bit of a cliffhanger saying that this car probably needs a new water pump and has a pretty bad coolant leak so i'm currently working on diagnosing that and whatnot but uh yeah so more fun times ahead it's just about to hit 140k so you know we'll see thank you all so much for watching make sure to check out the video on the new car sitting right out there don't want to show too much of it if you haven't already See you all next time.